What is up everybody? Travis Big League Berardi coming to you from OH Report World Headquarters here in Mansfield. Now over the last seven episodes of the Roundup this season, Brian Skaronski brought you his top eight, top ten diamond cuts each week. The best defensive plays that we saw in our coverage at the OH Report from that week. Well, I'm going to bring him back because we didn't have you vote. We had Brian vote himself for his top. We're going to have you get your say into things. So for the next seven days, I'm going to put his top five up for a vote. The winner of each of those seven days will go into my final top 10. So seven vote winners, and then I'm going to put three wild cards in there and then give you my top 10 here as the summer goes on for, I guess you could say, the diamondy of the diamond cuts, even if that's a word, I don't know, but whatever. So here are our nominees from episode number two. Backyard rivalry checking in at number five, Ontario thinking they have an extra base hit, but Lexington's Markel Martin would say, hey kid, to rob this bomb to dead center, looking like Hall of Famer Willie Mays with the unbelievable over the shoulder grab. More from the Mid-Ohio, where Abra Wade Del Secado calls inning over with the fast switch reflexes from Johnstown Monroe. And she must jam out to some Beyonce to get gassed up, because she was working it to the left, to the left, like she was irreplaceable to score a big out. We keep it in the same matchup at number three, but two was always better than one, and that's exactly how many outs Avery's willing is cashing in to end the frame for Hilliard Darby serving up this perfect toss to first base after snagging the liner as the Jaguars would knock off the Johnnies. Now we head to Northmore where there's a new sheriff patrol in the castle and he's ready to shut down the inning with an around the horn double play. Freddie's third baseman Kane Sheriff starting things off here. Check this out. Great play at third ending the night scoring threat with a big time DP. But our diamond cut of the week sees the Jaguars back on the prowl and they too are hungry for seconds. Heads up toss over to second from Nicky Moody for the unconventional double play. Lots to like here as we run it back. Snow Cone Snag sets it off, then Moody turns the low throw into defensive goal for my number one play of the week. All right, now it's your turn to vote for the diamond cut from this week. And like I said, the winners will go into my top 10 to be eligible for Diamond Cut of the Year. As always, one vote per person. I've seen some of you folks trying to vote multiple times and I'm watching, I'm watching you. Anyway, get those votes in by the end of the week. You have seven days from the time this video has been posted to get those votes in. And then like I said, later this summer, I will have my top 10 for you guys to vote on for Diamond Cut of the Year. But for now, I'm going on vacation. I'll see you later. <laughs>